Welcome everyone, it is good to be back and we're back in what else but Microsoft Flight Simulator. A special flight today as we're taking out the Southern Cross Fokker F7 Trimotor monoplane. Flown by the Australian aviators Charles Kingsford Smith, Charles Um, Harry Lyne and James Warner. In the first ever transatlantic Pacific flight to Australia from mainland United States in 1928. That's 7,250 miles. More history on the Southern Cross shortly, but firstly about the aircraft, the Fokker F7. The Fokker Trimotor, firstly, was designed as a single-engine transporter aircraft by the Walter Rethel. In 1925, while living in the US, Anthony Fokker heard of an inaugural Ford reliability tour, which was proposed as a competition for transport aircraft. Fokker had the company's head designer, Reynold Platts, convert a single-engine F7 airliner to a trimotor configuration powered by a 200 horsepower right whirlwind radial engine. The resulting aircraft was designed the Fokker F5A 3M. The trimotor structure consisted of a fabric covered steel tube fuselage and a plywood skin wooden wing. The Fokker F7B had slightly increased wing area over the F7A with power increase to 220 horsepower per engine while the F-10 was slightly enlarged, carrying up to 12 passengers in an enclosed cabin. The aircraft became popular known as the Fokker Tri-Motor. The aircraft became well known as the Fokker Tri-Motor. The 8-12 passenger Fokker was the aircraft of choice for many early airlines, both in Europe and the Americas, and it dominated the American market in the late 1920s. Had a maximum speed of 220 km an hour or 130 miles per hour, Crews of about 178 kilometers an hour and 111 miles per hour and a range of 1200 kilometers or 750 miles and a ceiling of 14,400 feet. Now back to the Southern Cross aircraft we fly today. The Southern Cross began life as a Detroiter, a polar exploration aircraft of the Detroit News Wilkins Arctic Expedition. The aircraft had crashed in Alaska in 1926 and was recovered and repaired by the Australian expedition leader Hubert Wilkins. Wilkins decided the Fokker was too large for the Arctic explorations and met with Kingsford Smith and Charles Um and arranged to sell the aircraft without engines and instruments. They fitted the aircraft with engines and required parts and made a few attempts of world endurance records in an attempt to raise funds for their Trans-Pacific flight. They couldn't raise the funds and sold the aircraft to American aviator Alan Hancock, who loaned it back to Kinsford Smith and Ng. The engines were funded by the Melbourne businessman Sidney Meyer. The Trans-Pacific flight took place on the 31st of May 1928. They took off from Oakland, California, United States. They stopped for a rest and refueling at Hawaii before setting off for Fiji. This leg took 34 hours for the flight to cross the open seas before gliding past the Grand Pacific Hotel in Suva and touched down at Albert Park, Fiji. The Southern Cross landed at Eagle Farm Airport in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia on the 9th of June, where a crowd of 25,000 people were eagerly awaiting the arrival. They later flew to Sydney on the 10th of June. Kingsford Smith, Um and Gordon Taylor also made the first non-stop trans-Tasman flight in the Southern Cross over the 10th and the 11th of September 1928 between Australia and New Zealand and flew back again. Both of these flights, the Trans-Pacific and the Trans-Tasman were very, very historical flights and I am thrilled to be able to take the Southern Cross Fokker 7 on a flight within the sim from East Sail Yankee Mike Echo Sierra where we arrived from our last live stream and heading to Barnsdale Yankee Bravo November Sierra. So let's take the Southern Cross into the air and head to our next destination. I hope you're all enjoying the journey so far in our Around Australia trip. And if you haven't already joined me on some of my live streams, which I am taking certain legs from this journey and streaming them to you all, please jump onto the live streams. They are scheduled normally in my Discord. So you can jump onto my Discord if you haven't, and that's in the comments below. Also, all the flight plans for my pre-recorded journeys will be on my Discord, and all my future live streams will also be posted there. So go check it out. But thanks again, and thanks for all the support, and I'll see you on the other side.
We have arrived at Barnsdale Airfield. Thanks again for joining me on this leg of the journey around Australia, around the world, and we're still currently in the state of Victoria. 
The aircraft, the Southern Cross Fokker 7, was absolutely amazing and a beautifully recreated aircraft in the sim and flew really nicely as well. So if you want a chill flight, this is one you should go pick up and you can pick this up in the Microsoft Flight Simulator Marketplace within the sim. Now thank you again for all supporting me, it's been great, the journey so far is amazing. Please like and subscribe if you do enjoy my content and if you want the flight plans to all my journeys including when the live streams are on and the live stream flight plans, you can go to my Discord which are in the comments below and join up, join the community and you can grab those flight plans and when I am streaming etc and what's new and what's coming. So thanks again and like always. I will see you on the other side.